Hi, it's Sandra, and today I am going to show you some of my favorite lip products for summer. Most of them, well actually all of them, are in the peach, coral, orange category. Those are just the colors that I tend to gravitate towards in the summer. I'm not a really, really big pink lipstick fan in general. I do like some pinky nudes or beigey nudes and things like that, but um, those I wear all year round. These are just colors that I strictly tend to wear in the warmer months. That's just, I just find that they look better when I have a little bit of a tan and I also wear lip glosses a lot more in the spring and summer. I'm actually going to start with the only limited edition product that is in my little collection here and it's the color that I'm wearing today and it's a gloss by Chanel. I, I don't want to talk about limited edition products that you can't get anymore but just in case you have this and you kind of forgot about it, I am going to mention in this video to remind you to, to bring it out because it's a beautiful color for summer. The Glossomer in shade number 337, it's called Calypso and it's the only product that I have on my lips today. The perfect kick to the lips, it is a gorgeous formula, it has this beautiful gold shimmer running through it, I'm not sure if you could see it too well on camera. This is the only Chanel Glossomer that I own, but the formula is absolutely beautiful. They're not very sticky, they're not drying on the lips, they just they feel great. This is a plush glass by MAC and it's one of my favorites. I tend to wear this year round, but more in the summertime just because it looks really good on top of other peachy lipsticks and things like that and it's the shade Big Kiss and it is right over there. It's gorgeous, it just makes the lips look really plump and juicy, beautiful to be worn by itself or works well on top of any peachy nude type of lipstick. The next is a new favorite and uh, it's the lip gloss that I purchased the most recently, it's by Lancome, it's the Lancome Gloss in Love in shade number 146. It is definitely a more lighter peachy color, that is it right there. Great pigmentation, has a beautiful shimmer running through it as well, but it doesn't really make your lips look too frosty or anything. It's not too pigmented by itself, but it's just enough to maybe mute out your lips a little bit and make them look nice and like a nude peach, or works amazing on top of the lipsticks that I will mention. Next up is this one by Revlon. This is more of a nude peach, and it's the shade Bellini. For some reason, I just wear it a lot more in the summer, and this is the shade right here kind of the gloss that I go to if I have a lipstick whether it's a pink or a peach or a brown and I just don't really like the way it looks I feel like it needs a little something extra a little bit of a kick I always turn to this gloss and I add a little bit in the middle it smells a little bit weird um, but it doesn't bother me it's almost like a plastic plasticky scent it's not as intense as the NARS lip gloss smell but it definitely has like a, a scent that's not extremely pleasant. So if you are very sensitive to things like that, you might want to skip this. Probably one of my favorite lip glosses of all time, and you guys know because I've talked about this a lot, and it's by Buxom. This is the Buxom Big and Healthy Lip Cream and the shade Cream Sickle. I wear this year round, but again, it's a perfect shade for summer. It's a bright coral. It looks so good on top of nude lipsticks. It just makes them look less dead. I love this color so much and I love wearing it by itself a lot. This will probably be in my top 10 favorite lip glosses ever. I need to make one of those videos next too, but this is awesome. If you haven't picked this up and you have a Sephora near you, I highly recommend you get this or you can order it online. Next up is a lip stain and it is by Hourglass. This is what the packaging looks like and the shade is called Petal. This is it. It's more of a pinky peach color. And it has a little bit of a, a gold sheen in it. So on the lips, it translates really well. When it dries down, it lasts a long time. And it has this beautiful, almost like a golden, it's very, very soft golden sheen running through it. Um, I love to wear this by itself or with a clear gloss on top to kind of give it give the lips more dimension because it does dry down to a matte finish. But it has the sheen so it doesn't make your lips look completely dull. Next up is my beloved Revlon Kissable Balm Stain in the shade Charm. I have shown you this plenty of times. It is this color over here. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I love it. It goes with any makeup look and I wear it a lot in the summertime. 
The next two things I'm not very crazy about uh, when, I, when I wear them separate, but together they make the perfect bright light summer lip. And they're both drugstore products. The first is the Maybelline Baby Lips. This is the color uh, Pink Punch. And it's a very bright pink. It smells incredible. But like I said, I'm not really crazy about pink colors on myself, so I find the need to mix it with something else. So I wear this. And then I use this lipstick to kind of mute it out and add a little bit of a peachy nude aspect to it. And this is by Rimmel. And it's the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in shade number 113. And it's a very peachy matte nude color. And that is it swatched next to it. And I'm actually going to put them on together so you can see what they look like. So the first thing I do is dab this on. I like to just pat it in rather than pressing hard because it's very pigmented and it can make my lips, my lips look too, too nude and dull. So we have that and then I add the Maybelline Baby Lips on top. This is really sheer but it just offers some shine and a little hint of a pink. And it's just a gorgeous combination. I love wearing these together. I just find it feels really nice on the lips. And the smell of this, which is really nice, overpowers the smell of this, which is really bad. So I love, I love wearing them together. The last three things I'm going to talk about are lipsticks. And this one I've mentioned in my favorite lipsticks video. It's amazing and it is a Dior Addict Extreme shade number 336 it's called Saint Tropez it is permanent but it is a Sephora exclusive so you can only get this color at Sephora and you have to get it because it's absolutely gorgeous it's the perfect color for summer I love it and the other two are by Chanel they are Rouge Coco Shines the first is the one that I featured in my last haul video. It's shade number 78, Interlude. It's one of the new ones. These are permanent. This is actually, no wonder I like this so much. It's very similar to the Saint Tropez. It is just a little bit less pink. But they are very, very similar in color. This is wonderful. So if you can't get a hold of the Saint Tropez by Dior, this Interlude by Chanel is actually a pretty good dupe. And the other one is one of the older colors. It's number 48, Evasion. And this is the shade right there. This is a little less bright than the other two, but it's gorgeous to wear in the summer. I like to wear this with the Bellini by Revlon the most on top. So that is it. Those are the 12 lip products that I love to wear in the summertime. I'm usually a huge fan of matte and creamy lipstick formulas, but in the summertime I definitely like to mix things up and wear more glossy finishes, sheer lipsticks, balms, and things like that. Don't hesitate to let me know some of your favorite summer lip products in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye!